Hello and welcome to this bottle cap tutorial in on shape. We will define a couple of composite curves and make a loft with uh, three profiles and apply decal, which is a brand new feature. Okay, so I'm in an empty part studio and start a sketch on the top plane, pressing N, normal view to that, P, hide all planes, C for the circle, pull that out, dimension that with a 28, um, and draw with LQ one um, horizontal line here from the outside to the origin and then again from the origin over there. Then let's mirror um, that line to the other side. Press M, cut that, and um, dimension this angle because uh, those indentations, I counted them on that one cap I got here, and those are 22, so I divide that um, circle, those 360 divided by 22, give me an angle of 16 degrees, all right. I go into the center point arc command, place that origin right here, and draw something like that here. Continue with a tangent arc from here to that line. Um, apply some dimensions. That one will be 0.8 and that one 0.4. Make that tangent with T. Press X and join that line here. M, cut that off and cut that one off as well. Mirror over that line those two arcs. And with M, I cut that here. And that's it for the sketch. Next. Next thing, I want to make a composite curve here and just um, pick those lines here. All right, there's our curve here. And now let's um, define a plane with an offset from the top plane of three millimeters. All right, there it is. And let's start a sketch on that one. With U, I window select our curve and project that um, curve to our sketch plane. Now with O, I make an offset to that other side here and um, that will be those lines here okay and that'll be an offset of um, 0.15 okay All right and let's just make another composite curve of those inner profiles and hide that plane here so we get that profile at the bottom that one a little further to the inside and now we go to the front plane start a sketch over there lq one axis vertical axis here um, dimension that with um, six millimeters. Continue with a line command here 
horizontal line. Um, turn that into a tangent arc. And again, some dimensions. So that length, uh, 12.6. That arc, uh, 2. And that height or that point is 1.5. And we get a fully defined sketch. Now again, we want we want to work on uh, this section only. So now we will go into the features and take that revolve and the surface um, tab. A new surface, and we'll start at the top here with those two here. That axis, that is that one, but we'll just make that, um, well, again, 360 divided by 22 revolve angle. There it is. And now we'll make uh, that loft. So, for the loft command, we go into here and we start at that edge with the start profile condition matching that curvature. All right, we don't even have to pick that. And go back to the profile section and Take that curve and finish with that curve. I'll leave that at the default here. So we got one surface here, right? And this one we're going to thicken. So take that. Well, um, that'll be the other direction, maybe with a 0.2 millimeters. I those three, yeah, that's it. All right, we don't need to keep those tools. I'll make that sketch three visible again and make that circular pattern of our parts adding to what we get around our axis. And that'll be 22 times. All right, I'll go into the shaded without edges mode and hide all curves. Hide that sketch here. Mm. Name my part. Bottle cap. And change the appearance of that to red. And so we got that new command here, um, decal. And uh, we'll use that. Uh, just to show you, I prepared some PNG file here for, for, for my design. I download that from Wikipedia and that was red and I uh, changed, changed it to white. And that is what I'm going to pick on that face. And, well, the scale angle looks fine to me. I'll leave it like that. And there it is. There's our bottle cap with um, our logo. Well, I hope you like that and I see you in the next video.